Hi, my name is Pastor Mike, and I want to welcome you to today's Good News. In our Bible verse today, we're going to see Jude teaching us about angels. Now, speaking of angels, that reminds me of the story of the angel in heaven that God sent down to the earth last week to check out how things were going. Well, after flying around the earth, visiting the great cities of the world, including Rosarito, the angel returned to heaven and he told God, God, I've got some really bad news. Only 5% of the people down on the earth are doing good. Well, God was worried, and he wanted to encourage the people doing good. So God came up with an idea. God said, to encourage my people, I'm going to send everyone that's doing good an email. So God sent down, sat down, and he sent everyone that's doing good on the earth an email. So let me ask you a question about that. Did you get this email from God last week? Well, hey, let's seriously open up our Bibles. If you got one sitting around, um, if you want your phone as well, we're going to read together Jude 1.6. Jude 1.6. The angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of that great day. Let's read that one more time. Jude 1.6. The angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of that great day. Now, Jude is bringing up angels here. In the beginning, everything God created was good, including angels. But who are these angels that did not keep their proper domain, these angels that sinned? Well, we call them fallen angels or demons. Ezekiel chapter 28 tells us the devil was originally a beautiful angel, maybe even an archangel, but he sinned with this sin of pride and God cast him out of heaven. When the devil was cast out of heaven, Revelation 12 tells us one third of the God's holy angels followed the devil in his rebellion. So one third of these good angels became the fallen angels, the demons. So that means that yes, demons are real. It means yes, the spiritual realm is is real, but demons cannot hurt you or make you do anything. You see, as a child of God, you've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. And we read here, the worst demons of them all have been cast into this pit where they are chained for their end final judgment. But let me give you some good news. Number one, demons have no power over you. You can never make that excuse. The devil made me do it. The devil can tempt you. The devil can lie to you. The demons can too, but they can never make you do anything because again, you've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. But here's another really good piece of good news I want you to think about today. God is going to protect you. God put limits around these demons. Do you know that God has put limits around you? There are limits to what the attacks of the enemy can do to you. God is going to protect you today. In fact, your Bible is full of promises. Promises of protection from God for you. Let me read to you one of the glorious promises that God's given you about protection. I'm going to read this from Psalm 91, verses 1 through 4. Psalm 91, 1 through 4. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions. Under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be a shield and a buckler. Precious friends, I want you to remember this today. God is with you. You have been sealed with the Spirit. But today, God is going to protect you. So don't sweat the small stuff. Don't get freaked out about the enemy. Not only does God love you, he's promised to protect you today. And that's today's good news.